Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 6.3. Estimate fractions, sums, and differences. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to make reasonable estimates of fractions, sums, and differences. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's begin our jump into fractions by reading the Unlock the Problem. It says, Kimberly will be riding her bike to school this year. The distance from her house to the end of the street is one-sixth mile. The distance from the end of the street to the school is about three-eighths of a mile. About how far is Kimberly from school? Let's underline that question. We want to know about how far is Kimberly's house from school. And we know that from her house to the end of the street is one-sixth, and from the end of the street to school is three-eighths. So we are going to be adding one-sixth plus three-eighths, and you can see they have uncommon denominators. But today we're just going to be estimating, and the word about confirms that. So underneath it says you can use benchmarks to find reasonable estimates by rounding fractions to zero, one-half, or one. Let's use a number line to practice this. First we're going to point one sixth on the number line and you can see it's been already cut into six so one sixth would be right here. So one sixth is between the benchmark zero and one half and you can see that here it's between zero and one half. And if you look it is closer to the zero than it is to the one half, so we're gonna round that to zero. Now we're next going to put three eighths on our number line, and we're gonna see where that is according to our benchmarks. So this time our number line has been split into eighths, and three eighths is right here. Three eighths is also between zero and one half, but you can see it's much closer to one half than it is to zero. So we're gonna round it to one half. So we're gonna round that to one half. Now I couldn't fit step one, two, and three on my page, but you have it on your page. So I'm gonna continue on to the next slide that has step three. Step three says we're going to add our rounded fractions. So we rounded one sixth to zero, and we rounded three eighths to one half, and zero plus one half is one half. So we know that she is about a half of a mile from school. That was pretty easy. Let's try estimating sums and differences another way. This time we're going to use mental math. It says you can compare the numerator and the denominator to round a fraction to find a reasonable estimate. In this one, we're going to be estimating 9 tenths minus 5 eighths. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to round 9 tenths. Well, I think if I had 10 tenths, then that would be a whole number. So 9 tenths is pretty close to 10 tenths, so I'm going to round this to the number 1. Now, if I look at 8 fifths, I know that half of 8 is 4. So if I have 4 eighths, then 5 eighths is pretty close to 4 eighths. So I'm going to round that to 1 half. And now I can subtract these easily. 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So 9 tenths minus 5 eighths is about half. Great job so far, fifth graders. We're estimating sums and differences with fractions. All right, fifth graders, now it's your turn. The lesson activity for today is the try this problem A. It has a mixed number, so I'll get you started. We're going to leave the two alone, but we're gonna round the seven eighths. We could either use benchmarks or we could use mental math. I know that 7 eighths is almost 1, which would be 8 
eighths. So instead of saying two and eight eighths, I'm gonna actually round this whole thing to three minus two fifths. Well, half of five is two and a half, but that's pretty close, so I'm gonna round this to one half. You can finish this problem on your paper and I'll be prepared to show it at the teacher table. Great job, fifth graders.